Hey guys, so today is Vlogmas 16, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about uh, night terrors and how I cope. Since I was a kid, I've always gotten pretty bad night terrors. Anything between seeing everyone you know die and dreams of sexual assault and dreams of other various very strong and terrifying natures that torture and things that I don't even remember but I will wake up in pain or crying or just feeling gross and like my I, my body is ill at ease. I woke up today from a night terror and um, you can see it barely, but there's a nick right there. Yeah, I did that to myself in my sleep. Um, and there's one that's almost healed right here that I did about a week ago to myself. Some of the things that I do to calm myself down, because when you wake up, you are in a panic. You cannot, it, it's basically like a very severe or pretty severe nightmare. Um, Things I do are listen to, like, there's a specific podcast I listen to where the announcer is very soothing and the subject matter is very distracting. So I listen to that. And I also listen to music that I like, but nothing at all along the lines of what I would dreamed. Like, I will listen to very upbeat music or very, like, calming music. Talking to people is really great, uh, either online or, like, in person if you can, because any sort of, like, distractions to the brain and uh, anything optical that you can let yourself know that, hey, whatever was in your dream, whatever was hurting you, whatever was giving you problems, it is not there anymore. Uh, that is the most important thing to know, that it is no longer there. Uh, hugging things, like my pillow or a plushie, is good to like get the uh, physical aggression and get the like physical terror out of your body because it sort of releases all that tension and kind of lets your body relax on its own, which in turn will let your mind relax. Just like with music, TV shows, or movies, or like an anime, something to watch will also be very good to distract yourself or to game, like a game you can play that you really like. Something fairly mind, not necessarily mindless, but something kind of just not at all like what you were thinking or something that you know so well that even if it relates it's ingrained in your brain like if you are a huge Final Fantasy fan uh, you might have had a dream about fighting but you know what Final Fantasy fights not gonna trigger that because Final Fantasy fights will be like your thing um, so you know there's my little advice to people who have bad nightmares, or a bad dream, or night terrors, find something to distract your brain, distract your senses, and it will make it a lot easier to get out of bed without shaking and being in pain and being so afraid that you are immobile, because I know for me, I'm usually immobile for at least an hour regardless of what I do. I don't even want to imagine not having coping abilities and having woken up from a night terror. So that's that's just me and sorry it's a little serious. I'm gonna continue what I was doing before, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!